Hey, what's up? It's Nevibus. If you don't know who I am, I'm a hip hop artist. Got my own style, own personality. I'm very eccentric. At least that's what everybody tells me. Everybody always tells me I'm different for everyone. But getting to the whole point of this video right here. So, I finished my song today. Well, I finished mixing it. I already um, recorded it um, a couple of days ago, but um, there was other stuff that I was getting into, like um, trying to do the whole, um, to play the Gundam thing, because I told first the um, new Gundam game came out. Well, not really new, but it been out in um, Japan, but it's, it's new to the West. But unfortunately, the game didn't like me because I know like one or two people, I don't know if it was the same person, but whoever you try to watch the video, then you see that, you know, the, the game was not really acting right for me. You know, it was going super slow. But anyway, back to the point. Worst of all time, right? That's the song, that's the name of the song that I um, just finished. The album is going to be called Wot. I've talked about it on social media I'm not quite sure if I talked about it on YouTube but basically the whole idea behind the song is like it's kind of like a play off of GOAT like you know you call the artist um, GOAT greatest of all time but for me it's woke worst of all time and what um, really inspired me to go in this direction was just like always failing you know constantly failing um you know for me starting off like with rapping it the people come at me like you know you trash you should quit you disrespect the hip-hop blah 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 whatever 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 you know a bunch of bunch of negative things that they had to say and then also you know just having having to deal with you know uh, situations where as such as for example my mother she she wants me to wear a suit and have a picture of me with a suit and that, that's that's not my personality I'm an eccentric person I have a rebellious personality I'm gonna always have a rebellious personality because it was never an age thing for me that was just who I am so wearing a suit doesn't fit who I am if I was Diddy I could wear a suit you know but I'm not Diddy, so wearing a suit, it, it doesn't fit me. I think that's great for an artist who that fits, but that's not me. I hate suits. Not just because I hate suits, but my personality just does not fit suits at all. And another example is like I'll have friends that'll say, you know, people don't like this. People like that. You know, you should do this. You should do that. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever, whatever. And so... Really, it was just for me to be like, you know, I'm the opposite of the GOAT. I'm not the greatest of all time. I'm not going to be everybody's favorite artist. I'm going to be me and I'm going to do, you know, my own thing. And as I was working on this, this really got this whole thought in my head. Like, what I'd like to do is like get a straw hat and have this thing like, you know, the worst generation of One Piece. And like... You know, just like, just like have my whole picture like that, doing like, you know how Luke, uh, Luffy does his thing, like when he get mad, when he, when he about to, you know, throw them hands on somebody, somebody about to catch them hands, you know, you know what he be doing with, with, with the straw hat, you know, bring it down, you know. <laughs> I'm thinking about like, maybe I could like get a picture like that. I mean, I can't do that right now because I'm broke, I ain't, I ain't got no money, I only had the money to buy straw hat, and I'm pretty sure a straw hat is really cheap, but... I have absolutely no income coming in whatsoever. I'm not making any sales off of my music. I am getting some streams though. I got like, uh, I believe 64, 65 streams, which is absolutely nothing to the average artist. But for me, that is amazing. And I'm grateful for it because I don't really have fans. I don't really have people listening to me like that. So for me, that that that's an amazing big thing for me personally. And I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video is like, yo, that's that's trash right there. Yeah, I know, but hey, that's why it's called worst of all time. You you see where I'm going at with this? <laughs> it all comes together. It fits. So anyway, like um, and then I also had another idea, like maybe I could have something like um the wanted posters like and um 
haven't really fit the uh, whole worst generation thing. And then that made me think maybe like multiple artists. But then I was like, I don't know because I'm like, this is really supposed to be my story. So it's like, I feel like as, as time goes on and I start creating more songs and whatnot, it's like if, if it fits to have somebody jump on and somebody crosses my path that fits into it maybe i could do that and maybe at the end of the day if i do get other artists maybe you know they could um all come together with me and we just make this album cover and who knows maybe like the the planets to be aligned it'll be exactly the number of people that's in the worst generation for one piece and each one of us represent a one piece character on the album cover or maybe we like all in on the wanted posters which that that would actually be something pretty cool but for right now starting it out i'm thinking of doing this as like this is just like my story basically being an artist that that nobody likes nobody listens to you know like constant failures whether it's a contest that I get into or whatever I'm doing. It's just constant failures and constant falling on my face. But, you know, getting back up to do my thing. Constantly people telling me that what I'm doing is wrong or that it's bad or whatever. Because I think the very crazy and ironic thing about me as an artist is I attract so many religious people. And, like, they like heavy religious and i think it's crazy because i'm like i'm like the complete opposite of that like i'm not I'm not religious at all like it's it's just it's just no religion with me so i always find it crazy how i just attract so many religious people like that'd be crazy to me and then like other things that i feel like is crazy is like how i'll be having all of these people like you know around me and none of them like video games none of them like anime and i'm like yo that's this is crazy because I, I i love video games i love anime like like it's just i i don't know maybe i'm presenting myself in the wrong way or whatnot I, i'm not sure but it's like like don't get me wrong i appreciate everybody who wants to be friends with me whatnot but I really want people that I can relate to, you know, people who, you know, play video games and like anime and stuff. I want to really have something to talk about. Like, I don't want everything that I try to talk to you about to be like something you hate. I don't want to talk about it. Then everything that you want to talk about is stuff that I don't want to talk about. And like, that's a horrible experience. I don't know if you've been through it, but... I go through it a lot and it's a horrible experience it feels great when you can actually talk to somebody about something that you just you really really love and they really really love it too and y'all could just have this whole conversation so yeah so if i do get other artists on this joint then i'd want it to be um you know rebellious artists like me and i feel like i jump all over the place in a way but it it all you know comes together it's all about that same one point but i think it kind of in a way it kind of reminds me of that uh one youtuber um i can't remember her name i think it's like sun bookish game something i i don't i don't um i can't really fully remember her name but i feel like i kind of jump all around like in a similar fashion to that um i haven't really watched many that many of her videos but I just, you know, side check it out, like, you know, because it just popped up in my recommendations and I was like, oh, yeah, she jumps around real crazy like I do. But um, anyway, so I think this song, this song right here is bomb and I'm feeling like really excited about it because I decided to listen to it in the car. Because, you know, recommendation with me going to school, I went to school for audio production. That's where I got my bachelor's. Then I got my master's in uh, entertainment business. And so, you know, the teachers recommended it because, you know, with different room acoustics and different speakers, blah, blah, blah. People are going to listen to it in different ways. You want to listen to it in different ways in order to, you know, make sure. Because, like, if you listen to it, you know, just from your speakers from you mixing it might sound good 
But then, you know, somebody could be listening to it in their car and it sounds horrible or with their headphones on or, you know, they might have cheaper speakers, more expensive speakers, a bigger room, smaller room, blah, 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 blah. We can go on and on forever. But basically, you know, it's, it's going to sound different depending on all of those factors. I mean, of course, it's probably literally impossible to make it sound good in every single condition. But, you know, you just want to do your best. So what made me excited about it is I feel like this is my best mix ever because like the bass like the bass is really thumping and that's amazing because I've always had a lot of struggle with getting that bass like thumping in my songs like if you listen to any of my songs it's already out it's like I, I could never really get the bass like I wanted it to but this one I feel like yo when I was in the car like it was I could feel shaking you feel me like yo this is crazy then as far as the uh, vocals, I feel like they were really clear. Like I turned it up pretty high. I mean, of course I can't turn it up, but so I, you know, cause then, you know, it'd be too loud. I ain't gonna get into all that. But anyway, so yeah, like, and like, I know that with my older songs, the vocals, like when I would turn it up, like to a certain point, they would get really distorted. And with this, I mean, of course, when you turn it up, really high it's, it's gonna get distorted no matter how good you can mix but this was like way better than any of my past songs so that makes me feel good like on the artist side as far as me making a song and i feel like yo this song sounds really good and also on the mixing side where it's like yo my mixing has really improved like a whole lot so i'm really excited about that that it, it it makes me feel really good because you know I made you know two accomplishments at the same time with the artist side and the engineer side so I'm feeling really good about that and I feel like I feel like this album is going to be something special for me um I'm not I'm not planning on charging from it like the only way that would change is if something happens where before I finish this project, I get, you know, a manager or sign a deal or whatnot. And, you know, whatever happens with that agreement involves, like, me charging from it. That's the only way that I would charge from it. But as far as I have planned right now, I have no plans of charging from this album. I already had the money to, like, pay for the beats anyway. So, there is that. But, you know, I do actually have... You know some beats that I already paid for, but I don't plan on using them like in the moment because I just want to concentrate on this. Because I feel like this is something that I really need. Like I've been dealing with depression a whole lot. I've been feeling down, like for mixtures of things like my relationships with people. Um, as far as people judge me, and I know you shouldn't let that get to you, but it gets to me the negative things that people say even the things that people say when they're just trying to help when they're like well you shouldn't do that you should do it this way that stuff makes me depressed too and i understand people are only trying to help but that makes me depressed like like just leave me alone let me do me if you're not gonna be like look yo that's who you are go for it go just don't say nothing to me because it, it, it be making me depressed when people be saying all of this stuff when they trying to help that it makes me depressed it, it really does when people try to help it makes me depressed because you're trying to make me do something that's not me you're telling me like nobody's gonna like what you do and it's like what y'all don't understand is that i'm not doing this to impress other people i'm doing this because this is this is who I am. This is what makes me feel good. I want to express myself. I like what I did. That's my creative work. But for me as an artist, even though people take it as um I want to say subjectively, but I'm not sure that's really the word that I'm looking for, but basically they they look at it from the outside looking in where they feel like you know, you separate yourself from what you're doing whereas that's my art. You're not talking about me, but for me as an artist, my art is me. So when you talk down on my art, 
You're talking about me. So when you say nobody's going to like when you do that, you're telling me nobody's going to like you. You see what I'm saying? And like, like people don't understand that when they try to help. Like that by you telling me nobody's going to like that, you're saying nobody's going to like me. And if you feel like nobody's going to like me, then you must not like me, right? But if you do, then you can't really truly feel like nobody's going to like that. So anyway, but at the same time, I feel like I really like I really need to work on really fully 100 percent showing me. I think that's what I need to do and the reason that I feel like that is because I feel like if I have everybody around 100% knowing that I'm like this then all of those people who are like people don't like if you do this people don't like if you do that or you know people who try to pull me in a certain direction or whatever they'll leave out of my life because they won't like me and that's what I want, which also comes along to worst of all time. I want the people who don't accept me for who I am to leave out of my life. I want all of the weird, crazy, eccentric, devilish, whatever the hell you want to call those people that are like me or really strange. I want them in my life so that I can have fun with them. I can talk to them. I can relate to them. I can be friends with them. Because right now I feel like I have people around me that I don't relate to. Who don't accept me for who I am. And it tends to make me depressed. Especially because I always have these negative interactions with them. Because of the fact that we don't relate to each other. There's nothing that I like that they like and vice versa. We don't understand each other. And any interactions that we have are going to end up being bad interactions. Because of the simple fact that we're not like on the same page. So like this is another thing that I really like want to do with this album is I really want to repel all of those people who just don't fit who I am as a person so and pull in the people who do fit who I am because right now I feel like I'm not getting to the people who I relate to so yeah like I mean this ended up being long with it but it, hey, hey, it is what it is I had to speak my mind say how I feel do my thing. Anyway, never miss out. Peace.